What is polystyrene capacitors in electronics? Polystyrene capacitors are a type of film capacitor that uses polystyrene as the dielectric material. Polystyrene is a thermoplastic polymer known for its excellent dielectric properties, stability, and low losses. Here are some key points about polystyrene capacitors. The dielectric material in a capacitor refers to the insulating material that separates the two conductive plates, allowing the capacitor to store and release electrical charge. The choice of dielectric material is crucial as it determines the electrical properties, performance characteristics, and suitability of the capacitor for different applications. Here are some commonly used dielectric materials in capacitors. Ceramic, ceramic materials such as titanium dioxide, TiO2, and barium titanate, BaTiO3, are commonly used in ceramic capacitors. Ceramic capacitors offer a wide range of capacitance values, high voltage ratings, and good temperature stability. They are widely used in electronic circuits due to their versatility and cost-effectiveness. Polyester, mylar polyester film, polyethylene terephthalate, PET, is used as the dielectric material in polyester film capacitors, also known as mylar capacitors. Polyester capacitors offer stability, high insulation resistance, and are suitable for general purpose applications. Polypropylene, PP polypropylene film, PP, is used as the dielectric material in polypropylene film capacitors. PP capacitors offer excellent temperature stability, low dielectric losses, and high insulation resistance. They are commonly used in audio systems, precision electronics, and applications requiring high performance. Polycarbonate, PC polycarbonate film, PC, is used as the dielectric material in polycarbonate film capacitors. PC capacitors provide good stability, low losses, and high accuracy. They are used in applications requiring high precision and reliability. Tantalum pentoxide, TA205 tantalum pentoxide is used as the dielectric material in tantalum electrolytic capacitors. Tantalum capacitors offer high capacitance values, good stability, and low leakage current. They are commonly used in applications where space is limited and stable capacitance is required. Aluminum oxide, Al203 aluminum oxide is used as the dielectric material in aluminum electrolytic capacitors. Aluminum capacitors offer high capacitance values, high voltage ratings, and are commonly used in power supply filtering and decoupling applications. Polystyrene, polystyrene is used as the dielectric material in polystyrene capacitors. Polystyrene capacitors offer low dielectric losses, high stability, and accuracy. They are commonly used in applications requiring low signal distortion, such as audio circuits. Polyethylene, P polyethylene film is used as the dielectric material in some capacitors. Polyethylene capacitors offer good electrical properties and stability and are suitable for general purpose applications. These are just a few examples of dielectric materials used in capacitors. The specific choice of dielectric material depends on the desired electrical characteristics, performance requirements, and cost considerations for a particular application. Each dielectric material has its own advantages, limitations, and suitability for specific capacitor types and applications. Capacitance stability refers to the ability of a capacitor to maintain its specified capacitance value over time and under various operating conditions. It is an important characteristic to consider when selecting capacitors for specific applications. Here are some key points about capacitance stability. Temperature stability. Temperature stability refers to how well a capacitor maintains its capacitance value over a range of temperatures. Different capacitor types exhibit different temperature coefficients, which describe the change in capacitance with temperature. Capacitors with better temperature stability have lower temperature coefficients, meaning their capacitance values are less affected by temperature variations. Voltage stability, voltage stability refers to the ability of a capacitor to maintain its capacitance value under different applied voltages. In some capacitor types, the capacitance can change with variations in voltage. 
Capacitors with better voltage stability exhibit minimal changes in capacitance with changes in applied voltage. Aging stability, aging stability refers to how well a capacitor retains its capacitance value over time. Some capacitors may experience a gradual change in capacitance due to aging effects, such as the breakdown or degradation of the dielectric material. Capacitors with good aging stability maintain their capacitance value relatively well over extended periods of time. Capacitance tolerance, capacitors are typically labeled with a capacitance tolerance, which indicates the permissible deviation from the specified capacitance value. For example, a capacitor with a plus or minus 10% tolerance means that the actual capacitance can deviate by up to 10% from the labeled value. Capacitors with tighter capacitance tolerances offer better capacitance stability. Dielectric material, the dielectric material used in a capacitor can significantly impact its capacitance stability. Different dielectric materials have varying levels of stability over temperature, voltage, and aging conditions. Some dielectric materials, such as ceramic and certain film materials, offer better stability compared to others. Application considerations, the required capacitance stability depends on the specific application. For instance, in precision timing circuits or frequency-sensitive applications, tight capacitance stability is critical to ensure accurate operation. On the other hand, in some general-purpose applications, moderate capacitance stability may be sufficient. When selecting capacitors for applications where capacitance stability is important, it is essential to consider the temperature range, voltage variations, aging effects, and specific stability requirements of the application. Manufacturers provide specifications and datasheets that indicate the capacitance stability characteristics of their capacitors, allowing engineers and designers to make informed choices based on the desired performance and stability requirements of their circuits. Low dielectric losses refer to the characteristic of a capacitor's dielectric material to minimize energy losses within the capacitor. Dielectric losses, also known as dissipation factor or tangent delta, tan, represent the amount of energy that is converted into heat within the dielectric material as the capacitor charges and discharges. Here are some key points about low dielectric losses in capacitors. Efficiency, capacitors with low dielectric losses are more efficient in storing and releasing electrical energy. Low dielectric losses result in minimal energy dissipation within the capacitor, allowing for efficient energy transfer and minimizing power losses. Power factor correction, low dielectric losses are important in power factor correction, PFC, circuits. PFC capacitors are used to improve the power factor of electrical systems by reducing reactive power. Capacitors with low dielectric losses contribute to the overall efficiency of the PFC circuit by minimizing energy losses in the dielectric material. High frequency performance, low dielectric losses are crucial for capacitors used in high frequency applications. Capacitors with low dielectric losses minimize energy dissipation and help maintain the integrity of signals by reducing losses caused by the dielectric material. This is particularly important in applications such as RF circuits and telecommunications. Heat generation, capacitors with low dielectric losses generate less heat during operation. This is beneficial in applications where temperature rise needs to be minimized to ensure reliable and stable performance. Lower heat generation improves the overall efficiency of the capacitor and reduces the risk of thermal stress. Dielectric material, the choice of dielectric material plays a significant role in determining the dielectric losses of a capacitor. Different dielectric materials have different loss characteristics. For example, certain film capacitors such as polypropylene and polycarbonate capacitors are known for their low dielectric losses. Frequency dependency, dielectric losses can vary with frequency. Some capacitors exhibit low dielectric losses at specific frequencies, while others have a wider frequency range of low losses. It is important to consider the frequency characteristics of the capacitor when low dielectric losses are required over a specific frequency range. Low dielectric losses are desirable in applications where efficiency, power factor correction, high-frequency performance, and minimal heat generation are important factors. 
Capacitors with low dielectric losses are commonly used in power electronics, telecommunications, audio systems, high-frequency circuits, and other applications where energy efficiency and signal integrity are critical. High accuracy in capacitors refers to the ability to achieve and maintain the specified capacitance value within a tight tolerance range. Capacitors with high accuracy exhibit minimal deviation from the intended capacitance value, ensuring precise and reliable performance in electronic circuits. Here are some key points about high accuracy in capacitors. Capacitance tolerance. Capacitance tolerance is a measure of the permissible deviation from the labeled capacitance value. For example, a capacitor with a plus or minus 5% tolerance means that the actual capacitance can deviate by up to 5% from the labeled value. Capacitors with high accuracy have tighter capacitance tolerances, such as plus or minus 1% or even tighter, ensuring closer adherence to the desired capacitance value. Manufacturing process. The manufacturing process plays a crucial role in achieving high accuracy in capacitors. Precise control of materials, dimensions, and production techniques is necessary to minimize variations and achieve consistent capacitance values. Testing and quality control. Capacitor manufacturers employ rigorous testing and quality control measures to ensure high accuracy. Each capacitor is tested to verify its capacitance value and adherence to the specified tolerance range. Advanced measurement techniques and equipment are used to ensure reliable and accurate results. Temperature stability. Temperature stability refers to the ability of a capacitor to maintain its specified capacitance value over a range of temperatures. Capacitors with high accuracy exhibit minimal changes in capacitance with temperature variations. Temperature compensation techniques and careful selection of dielectric materials contribute to temperature stability and accurate performance across varying temperature conditions. Voltage stability. Voltage stability refers to the ability of a capacitor to maintain its capacitance value under different applied voltages. Capacitors with high accuracy exhibit minimal changes in capacitance with voltage variations. Ensuring consistent capacitance values across the specified voltage range contributes to high accuracy. Aging stability. Aging stability is the ability of a capacitor to maintain its capacitance value over time. Capacitors with high accuracy exhibit minimal capacitance drift due to aging effects. High-quality materials, proper construction techniques, and careful selection of dielectric materials contribute to long-term capacitance stability. Calibration. In some cases, precision capacitors may undergo individual calibration processes to ensure their accuracy. Calibration involves comparing the actual capacitance value of each capacitor to a reference standard and adjusting it, if necessary, to achieve the desired accuracy. High accuracy in capacitors is crucial in applications that require precise capacitance values, such as timing circuits, oscillators, filters, and analog signal processing. It ensures proper functioning, stability, and predictable behavior of the circuits. When selecting capacitors for high accuracy requirements, it is important to consider the capacitance tolerance, temperature stability, voltage stability, aging stability, and the specific accuracy requirements of the application. High-quality signal processing refers to the accurate and faithful processing of electronic signals without introducing distortions, noise, or degradation. Capacitors play a crucial role in signal processing circuits by providing energy storage, coupling, filtering, and decoupling functions. Here are some key points about high-quality signal processing and the role of capacitors. Signal integrity. Capacitors are used in signal processing circuits to preserve the integrity of the signals being processed. They help maintain the amplitude, shape, and timing of the signals without introducing significant distortions or signal degradation. Low signal distortion. Capacitors with low distortion characteristics are essential for high-quality signal processing. Low distortion capacitors minimize the introduction of harmonic components or nonlinearities that can distort the original signal waveform. Frequency response. Capacitors used in signal processing circuits should have a wide and flat frequency response. They should accurately pass the desired frequency components of the signal while minimizing attenuation or phase shifts within the intended frequency range. 
High frequency performance capacitors with excellent high frequency performance are crucial in signal processing circuits that handle high frequency signals. They should have low impedance at high frequencies to ensure efficient coupling and transmission of high frequency components. Low noise capacitors with low noise characteristics help maintain signal integrity by minimizing the introduction of unwanted electrical noise or interference. Low noise capacitors reduce the impact of internal and external noise sources on the process signals. Stability and accuracy high quality signal processing requires stable and accurate components. Capacitors with high stability and accuracy in their capacitance values ensure consistent and predictable performance over time and operating conditions. Selective filtering Capacitors are often used in filtering circuits to attenuate or eliminate unwanted frequency components from the signal. High-quality capacitors enable precise and selective filtering to achieve the desired frequency response characteristics without distorting the signal of interest. Coupling and decoupling Capacitors are used for coupling and decoupling signals between different stages of a circuit. In high-quality signal processing, capacitors should have low impedance and provide effective coupling and decoupling functions to ensure clean and uninterrupted signal transfer. Low dielectric losses. Capacitors with low dielectric losses minimize energy losses within the capacitor and help preserve the signal integrity. Low dielectric losses reduce the conversion of electrical energy into heat, contributing to accurate signal processing. Capacitors used in high-quality signal processing applications are selected based on their specific characteristics, such as low distortion, white frequency response, high stability, low noise, and suitable dielectric material. Considerations are also given to the capacitor's capacitance value, voltage rating, temperature stability, and other performance factors to ensure optimal signal processing performance without introducing significant distortions or degradations. The phrase limited availability refers to a situation where a particular product or component is not easily accessible or readily obtainable in the desired quantity or specifications. In the context of capacitors, limited availability can arise due to various factors. Specialty capacitors, some types of capacitors are considered specialty components with specific characteristics or applications. These capacitors may have limited availability because they are produced in smaller quantities or are specialized for niche markets. Examples include certain high-precision capacitors, specialized film capacitors, or capacitors designed for specific industries or unique applications. Production constraints. Capacitors may experience limited availability due to production constraints or supply chain issues. Factors such as limited production capacity, scarcity of raw materials, disruptions in manufacturing processes, or fluctuations in demand can impact the availability of certain capacitors in the market. Obsolete or end-of-life components. As technology advances and new capacitor types emerge, older capacitor models or technologies may become obsolete or reach their end of life. Capacitors that are no longer in active production may have limited availability as existing stock depletes over time. Finding suitable alternatives or sourcing older capacitors may become challenging. Custom or low-volume capacitors. Capacitors that are custom-designed or produced in low volumes may have limited availability. These capacitors are typically manufactured on demand or in small batches, making them less readily accessible compared to standard, off-the-shelf capacitor models. Market demand and allocation. Capacitor availability can be influenced by market demand and allocation decisions made by manufacturers. If there is high demand for capacitors in certain industries or applications, manufacturers may prioritize production and distribution to those sectors, leading to limited availability for other sectors or applications. When dealing with limited availability of capacitors, it may be necessary to explore alternative capacitor types, search for alternative suppliers, or consider redesigning the circuit to accommodate more readily available components. Working closely with suppliers, distributors, and manufacturers can help identify suitable alternatives or sources for the required capacitors. Additionally, monitoring industry trends, staying informed about component lifecycle statuses, and maintaining good communication with suppliers can help mitigate potential challenges associated with limited availability.